Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, also known as broken heart syndrome, is a form of non-ischemic cardiomyopathy. It is called Takotsubo, which means octopus trap in Japanese, because of the shape the left ventricle assumes in this condition is similar to an octopus trap. Often it is seen following a significant stress event, which may be a physical stress such as sepsis or stroke, or emotional stress like losing a job or a loved one, which is where the name broken heart syndrome comes from. So what actually happens in Takotsubo cardiomyopathy? Overall, there is a transient regional systolic dysfunction of the left ventricle, with no significant coronary artery disease or plaque rupture. The exact mechanism is not known, although it is widely documented that there are increased levels of catecholamines circulating in these patients possibly as a result of the physical or emotional stress suffered. A proposed mechanism is that there is microvascular dysfunction and coronary vasospasm. In particular, it is thought there is a predisposition to vasoconstriction due to endothelial dysfunction. That leads to excessive vasoconstriction and vasospasm when exposed to these high levels of catecholamines. This can give acute and transient cardiac ischemia and subsequently myocardial stunning, which means a temporary state of mechanical cardiac dysfunction, particularly in the apex, which gives the characteristic Takotsubo shape of the ventricle. Estrogen is also thought to play a role, as following menopause, the reduced estrogen levels may predispose to endothelial dysfunction. Risk factors include physical or emotional stress, with around 80% of patients experiencing a significant stressful event prior to the condition. Female sex is another risk factor, with around 90% of patients being female, and around 10% of acute coronary syndrome presentations in women are thought to be Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Postmenopausal women are particularly affected which is consistent with the role of estrogen. The age range most affected is between 58 and 75 years, with less than 3% of cases occurring before the age of 50. This also supports estrogen having a role in the pathology. Endocrinopathies like pheochromocytoma and thyrotoxicosis are other risk factors. The signs and symptoms of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy are similar to acute coronary syndrome. Features include chest pain, shortness of breath, lightheadedness, or syncope. Around 10% of patients end up in cardiogenic shock, and some suffer sudden cardiac death. Several sets of guidelines have been proposed for the diagnosis, and two common points within these guidelines are echocardiography showing transient left ventricular wall motion abnormality. Also, there must be no other condition that explains this wall motion abnormality, such as coronary artery disease, myocarditis, myocardial toxicity, or hypoperfusion. Characteristic ECG changes include findings typical of STEMI, which include ST elevation, T-wave inversions, and QT prolongation. In most cases, the cardiac enzymes like troponin are negative. Coronary angiogram is done to rule out occlusion of the coronary vessels and typically shows less than 50% occlusion. Angiographic findings can include the apical ballooning, which gives the condition its name. In most cases, Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is a self-limiting condition with a good prognosis usually with a reduction in systolic function recovering within two months, and therefore management is mostly supportive. The initial presentation can be severe, however only a minority of patients suffer complications or mortality, which are around three times more likely in men. Because of the similarity with acute coronary syndrome, patients are often initially treated with antiplatelets, beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and a statin, while coronary artery disease is evaluated. Beta blockers and ACE inhibitors 
may be continued for several months while imaging is done to evaluate the progression of any detected wall motion abnormalities. Anticoagulation is usually not used unless there are embolic events.